All right, so in order to prevent any sort of rodent crisis, I had to come grab my um, cat. So my cat stays with my son and um, I am seeing how it goes to have her in um, with me. So uh, I scooped her up. She's currently petrified in the back, but doing quite well. And um, I'm headed back to the woods with a pit stop to get like one of those like disposable litter boxes and um i don't know cat treats <laughs> i'm not playing around i do not want a mouse and i i got i have a cat because someday when i have land and everything she's gonna be my um my rodent control that's the whole point She's great at catching bugs, but she's been an indoor cat, so we'll see how she does indoors the car. But first I had to get coffee. You know, it's always a requisite. This is exciting. I might be turning my cat into a travel cat. She's strictly been a homebody until now. I don't know. I'm definitely going to hang out with her for a couple days. Ah, I'm so excited. It's so cute. She's looking around. I wish I could zoom in. Don't worry. I'm going to get lots of close up. I think she's looking out the window. She's doing pretty well, actually. She seems like... I can tell in her eyes, she's definitely a little scared. Meowsers. No, she seems okay, actually. Well, she's alert. All right, I'm back here. <laughs> Somebody's getting a little more comfortable. Anyway, um, I just got back from the grocery store. I got some firewood. I, um got some food and I think I'm about to make some eggs and bacon eggs and turkey bacon but first I'm gonna get kind of situated I'm a little nervous <laughs> I'm excited to share my cat with you guys I have not seen her as much but this is Francis aka meowsers and I got her, um, her birthday is the summer solstice, actually. It's June 21st. She turned two this year. Um, she's a very well-behaved cat. Yes, I'm saying that out loud. I'm saying it on here, so you better live up to it. But, um, and she's very in tune with me. But she's been, like, in an indoor cat. Um, and I'm nervous about just having, like, the doors open. So I'm gonna see how that goes. But, um, yeah she's gonna we're gonna test her out here and see um i hope she, her whole purpose of being here right now besides keeping me company and trying this out is to get the mice or the chipmunks or anything that wants to get in the car you hear me meowsers you hear me that's your job okay if you hit many mice rodents anything you get them don't let them in the car okay that's your job that's <laughs> that's why you're along for the ride but it will be fun to hang out with her too. So yeah, she'll be with me for a couple days. I think we'll try it out. Unless she starts like tearing apart the car and everything. And I might try getting her like one of those leashes to like walk around. Let me show the campground. It's really cool because there's like um, a path and there's like a trail. I mean. <laughs> anyway, it's probably going to be a lot of cat footage in this one. Yowzers. Um, she's been an indoor cat.
making some eggs and turkey bacon and let's see I put the lights up so I have my jar but then I added this extra set of lights just to shed a little more light yep I think I turned it all the way off by accident there we go You're supposed to be busy catching mice. So I've been hanging out with my cat and just chilling. She is definitely chilling. There's been no sound or sign of mice but it's uh it's not dark yet i think they come out at night uh i think i already mentioned this but i put up my lights that's fun and i have this fabric i got um it's got trees on it and yeah i think i'm gonna redo the window covers so maybe not over i kind of like the one over here over the stove for now like the wood look it's kind of cool um but i think these ones behind me see i got these from the dollar store it's like sticky contact paper the dollar store has some really nice sticky contact paper right now um all different kinds and i got this but i have to, i didn't get enough to like i have to like cut a small piece on the top and do all that and i didn't get enough to do that um so when I was up in Bellingham, <laughs> with all that extra time I had before the wedding, you know, I built a shelf and I went to the fabric store, but I got this tree fabric and I think I might um, put it up on here. So that's a project I might work on. And then I also might do a little embroidery um, on my hat. I've been wanting to do that for a while, like make a patch with surprise, surprise, probably a strawberry. But actually been relatively unproductive and just enjoying having company in my car my sweet cat my meowsers okay so her name is actually francis francis netalita um but i call her meowsers I'm waking you up meowsers yeah, I'm waking you up. You can go back to sleep. I didn't want anything. Except, if you hear anything that sounds like a mouse, you're on it. That's your job, remember? Remember we talked about that? So, Frances is her true name, but I rarely call her that. But, oops. Ooh, the bright light. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Blinded. Blinded by the light. Um, I do have a little bit of a litter box. Oh, that's my toe. But good to know you're on it. That's me. Oh, she is like primed and ready for action. I like the way that this is working out so far. Good job, Francis. Way to be on top of it. You're paying attention, even when it looks like you're not. Anyway, this is my meowsers, Francis. We're not doing much. I did get this new um, drawer. It was like 70% off at Michael's. Ugh, hold on, there we go. Meowsers, Francis, you're, you're kind of in the way here. Beep, beep, scoot, scoot. That bug right there, though, you could be focusing on that. Go get that. But yeah, so there's these, um, this drawer I got, this was on sale at Michael's, it was 70% off, so this thing was like, 
uh, what bug is that? I think it's like a tiny little bug, but yeah, 70%. So I have like my socks, bras, underwear, just a bunch of sports bras, really, bathing suit. That's all here, like that stuff goes in there. And then I reorganized, so it's not like winter regular. It's pants, tops, laundry. That's how I have this organized now. Pants, tops, laundry, and then like all the little stuff. So my shoes used to go here and there is a little space behind there. I could slip some, but, and I need to like, I need to vacuum out my car a lot. I think she found her spot where she's going to be at night. All curled up. It's perfect, actually. Look at those teeth. Perfect for chomping on some mice. <laughs> Your teeth, Francis, meowsers. Your teeth look bigger than the bites out of that cheese box, so. Yep. <laughs> Yes, they do. Having an absolutely lazy day here. And what's kind of cool is, I think I needed this. The sound of the rain is, it's pretty amazing actually. It's pretty soothing and relaxing. Um, I think having this day just to chill. I, I got a bunch of firewood. I was going to build a fire and I had a bunch of projects in mind, but I might make some tea. And um, yeah, I'm watching a movie and it's just really nice to listen to the sound of the rain all right there's gonna be a lot of weird angles I still need to figure out like the best angle for when I'm cooking um, but I am gonna get started with some rice so While that's getting going, I want to point out the, um, I got these boxes and they fit perfectly, um, and they have, oh my gosh, except that my leg is stuck on it. So yeah, <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out the best way to pack everything in here, um, but it's nice because they are, they fit. They fit really well with that shelf that I built. And they go through to the other side too. And they have a handle on the other side. So let's see, I can push them all the way through. So that's for my food. And there's a little space over here where I think I'm gonna keep like some bowls. I don't know, right now I have like this fabric I'm gonna use. And then I have more food down there, but I have a space for my feet. And then my craft basket fits all the way back there. But yeah, it's kind of cool that um, I have those drawers. So I'm gonna get my rice ready to cook. So it'll be, it's, it, this stove really heats it up in here. Um, and for anybody that's used a butane or propane stove indoors in a small space, I'm sure you're familiar with how much it heats. Um, so even though it's like a little cold and rainy outside, it's pretty warm in here. All right, I turned the flame down. I'm just gonna let that simmer. So um, I have to be really careful not to burn the rice in this pan because if it goes too low, it's gonna go too off. Too, too, if the flame goes too low, it's gonna shut off. But 
if it's obviously if it's too high it's gonna burn so um, yeah I think I think it's good I think that's perfect actually where it's at right now uh, I'm gonna let that do its thing They have these cute little six pack eggs. Um, so I had three earlier and uh, yeah. I'm gonna use the scissor method for cutting up my vegetables because even though I have a cutting board down there, um, it's like propping up something and I don't know where my cutting my knife that I keep. Yeah, it's just easier. I'm just going to use the scissors. I'm going to get some jalapeno. I have two of these big mushrooms. It's cool because there's this one grocery store around here that um, you can just buy like individual mushrooms. So, oh yeah, that spice is is uh, that pepper making some spice all of a sudden. A tomato, gonna slice up. Oh well, <laughs> snip up. I'm gonna do some orange pepper. I probably won't do all of it, just a few slices. Because um, there's a lot of food all of a sudden. Pretty simple dinner. Um, about to eat. All right, there's bowl number two because I might as well finish it off. Tomato, eggs, mushrooms, orange bell pepper, and rice. Hi. It's 8.42. I was considering building a fire, but it's still like drizzling. The rain's not stopping, so I think I'm about to brush my teeth, tidy up a little bit, and get under the covers. Um, I found a movie that looks interesting, so. All right, I'm all tucked in. I have to say there's like so much more room in this car. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna watch my show and Call it a night, call it a night, good night to everybody out there. <laughs> I don't know, I'm inspired to sing for some reason, but <sighs> I hope everybody's having a great night and I will come back on in the morning and see if there's any mouse action overnight and uh, see what the cat's up to for the evening, but yep, good night. Good morning. There was no sign of mice.
I slept pretty well, actually. And there was, like, not a peep. There's just a, a this animal in my car. I don't know. I don't think the rodent lives in here. I really don't. Um, especially not now, if, uh... <laughs> Good morning. <clears throat> there was no sign of a... Uh... I didn't hear anything. No mice, nothing. But I do need to step outside. And um, this is the moment I'm always nervous about. So I didn't actually... I don't know. So I think I'm... Yeah, this is the, no this is the moment right here. Um, every morning when I get out of the car. I don't want to set the alarm off, so I'm going to do the same thing that seems to have been working. All right, moment of truth here. Oh, please don't, please don't go off alarm. Oh, yes. It did not. How amazing. It's the little things in life. So she's actually never been outside. She's an indoor apartment cat, so I'm curious. And here is the kitchen from the outside. Um, with the drawers. That's that's craft stuff down there. And then my dishes are here. First things first, time to make coffee. Um, this is what I ended up getting. Uh, <laughs> instant coffee creamer seems the easiest and cheapest way to go. And I'm gonna put a little brown sugar in. I'm loving my new drawers here. Oh, and I guess I don't want the drawer smelling like onions, but yeah, I'm gonna leave these out. I don't know why I got all these onions. Maybe I'll make some like soup. Those, I think those go really well with like a ramen soup, but all right, boom. Yeah, my drawers, check these out. And they open from either side. Oops, uh-oh. Ugh. There we go. Yeah. It's coming together. The little kitchen area. I'm curious to see if she ever comes out of the car. I'm leaving the doors open to see. Yesterday it was raining all day, so I'm not surprised. But today... Maybe this is it. It's okay, Meowsers. She's definitely a little bit out of her comfort zone, but she's being a trooper. She did it. She jumped out of the car. Just stay close, Meowsers. Anyway, back to the coffee. Got the grounds in my little basket thing. I go in. Got the lid. Oh, I don't. I don't think I filled it up with water. It feels kind of like a fall day, which is kind of nice. Watch out. All right, so I've got that all ready to go. I added my creamer and my, uh, what did I do? I think I put the brown sugar back. Nope, the brown sugar's still up there. Cause I might have more cups, but. That stuff's added in there. That's going on the stove. Um, 
I'm gonna try out this thing I got. It's like foaming dish spray. But I'm hoping I can just like, I know you can use like apple cider vinegar too. I love seventh generation products though. I like their cleaning wipes. I like the way they smell. Oh, it's steaming. Yeah, I see steam coming out. So I'm gonna turn that off. We'll let it cool a little bit. This gets really hot. It's the only thing about this. So I'm gonna let that cool and go check out these dishes. The cat just keeps walking from here to here, to here, to here. She's like, what are you doing? I'm outside, you can come outside too. I don't blame you if you're staying in there though. It's a little cozier, but yeah. If you wanna come join me over here. All right, all right, dish time. Let's see how this stuff works. So I use the spray. I'm gonna see if I can just wipe it out. Mm, well, I don't know. I'm starting with like the hardest thing here. <laughs> I think this, I think it's a no stick pan. It should be able to just like wipe out, I'm thinking. So for, I don't mind, do, I actually like doing dishes, but it's like a space thing. So after I eat sometimes at night in that small space, I just don't feel like doing the dishes, but I definitely don't like having them sit. So um, if I can like figure out like just a way to wipe them down, like this is pretty cool actually. Yeah. And it's, um. Yeah. All right, not a bad uh, product so far. I think I want to rinse it with a little water. So it's not, I am going to do like a final rinse just because even though seventh generation, I think is like a fairly natural product. Um, I don't want it smelling like honey apple crisp or whatever. That is every time I want to start cooking. I just I want it to be neutral, clean, clean, fresh start. Let's see. So what I'll do is like a final rinse. But yeah, this is this is actually working out pretty well. Not bad. And so far I've only used these, well maybe I used maybe six paper towels total. I mean I've only done two dishes, but that one was a pretty big one, that pan. Alright, ready for the run. Now it's this, this is the tricky part. Uh oh, where'd she go? Yowzers. Oh, there she is. She's near me. Okay. I think she'll be good. She knows I'm her person. It's kind of cool to see her outside. Welcome to the dip in the wild life of Animal Kingdom. We have spotted a bobcat. A fierce lion of the woods. As she's on the prowl for some dinner or breakfast okay so now she thinks she's all comfortable in the woods and uh, I gotta keep an eye on her okay let's get this coffee poured oh no it looks super weak that's not gonna work for me <laughs> Did you guys see it? Look it. That's not coffee. What is that? All right, we're gonna go back to the drawing board with this pot of coffee. Maybe I still didn't put enough water. And so 
If there's not enough water, this thing only goes down to like there. So if there's not enough water, it's only on the bottom. So I think the first thing is to add a little more coffee so it's like filled to the top. So it's like steeping in the coffee grounds. Looks like it's pretty full. No. That's not pretty full. There's like... Yeah, that's the problem. Let me add more. Alright, back on the stove with the coffee we go. Let's see how far up she goes. I do want to get one of those leads because I don't want anything to happen to her. Um, I wasn't even sure I was going to let her out of the car to be honest, but she's cautious. She knows where I am. Ah, she's out of my sight. Let's go see. We're supposed to be, uh, dude, your job is the, the mice in the car, not the mice in the forest. Let them be. Yeah, come on, come on. Too far. Too far. Come on, back you go. You already knew. I didn't even have to say anything. You already knew it. Yeah, you did. Bon appetit! She's like, oh, I'm interested in these outdoors, in these great outdoors. I'm playing wild animal and you're trying to feed me? Make me look all domesticated? Don't play me, Alzheimer's. the first time you've been outside, for real. Yes, I'm trying to feed you, or I am feeding you. Whether you eat it or not, well, that's on you, but there it is. Uh, I don't know, it looks good, but, but I'm playing wild animal. I'm on the prowl. All right, let's try this coffee pour again. Still, that's definitely a little bit better. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, look who decided to join. Those are the clean dishes. Let's get those out of the way. The good news is, I don't think there's a mouse in the car. much better and it's been fun especially since it was like such a rainy day to have her I have to go to work later in the day and um, I might come back here tonight but it'd be later but it'd be nice to have tomorrow too. So I'm trying to decide if I want to bring her back or not. I like having her around, but it is like an extra thing. <laughs> thing, an extra. That, was that you, Miyazi? Yeah, what? She's having fun though. I guess I don't have to decide right now. We can just enjoy this moment here at this campground. It's really good to see her outside. Um, one thing I can't deal with is fleas, so I didn't do like any kind of flea treatment. I haven't had to because she stays indoors, but I guess we'll cross that bridge if it comes up. I know because they seem to find me. There could be one flea in somebody's giant house and it will find me and bite me. I can't do fleas. Hey, you're going back in that same spot.
Yeah, it's too far, you know it. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Go say hi to the camera meowsers. <laughs> I do love her. I do love her a lot. All right, I got my coffee. She's tucked in the car, and um, I think we're gonna walk around the campground. You can hear the highway. That's the only thing about this campground. You hear the noise of the highway. But it's not so bad on, in some of the sites. I'm in my happy place right now. I've got my cat buddy with me and I'm working on the window covers. So yeah, I got this fabric and uh, I got this adhesive at the dollar store. Um, so for everything for the Honda so far, I've just used this one and that one, the two of them. So. Yeah. We're having fun. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. I was waiting for her to discover this window. Oh, it's okay. You can stay up there. Here are the window covers. The new ones. With the tree fabric. And I made a curtain cover too, because this was black fleece on this side, so I left that and then um, I made a cover for the curtain there. And uh, yeah. <laughs> all right i think that's it for the vlog um for today i probably will be at this campground i have to go to work but um i think i'll probably come back and so i can hang out here again tomorrow morning with meowsers because i had a fun relaxing morning so um but yeah that's the end of the vlog and uh good news guys uh i don't think there's a mouse in the car thanks for hanging out with me and meowsers and getting to know meowsers a little bit and um yeah i hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day see you next time bye